Hi, I'm Dr. Anupama Sudhir, Dermatologist, Skin Solutions, Autopalam, Palakkad, Kerala. Here we will discuss about psoriasis which will help you to understand the disease better. Psoriasis is a chronic inflammatory disease characterized by red patches over the body, mostly seen on the elbows, knees, trunk and scalp. In psoriasis, the skin cells multiply 10 times faster than the normal. The psoriatic lesion is characterized by well demarcated areas with silvery white plaques. Psoriasis is tend to occur through cycles, flaring up for a few weeks or months then subsiding for a while or go for a complete remission. There are many different kinds of psoriasis. One is plaque psoriasis. Plaque psoriasis is the most common type of psoriasis where we can see well demarcated erythematous patches. It is usually seen over the elbows, knees, trunk, gluteal cleft and scalp. It is the most common type of psoriasis. It is usually itchy psoriasis. Next is the gut head psoriasis. Gut head psoriasis usually occur in children and young adults. It usually follows after a sore throat or bacterial streptococcal infection. It is characterized by drop-like lesions just over, over the hands and the feet and the legs. Next is nail psoriasis. Nail psoriasis can occur alone or can occur along with plaque psoriasis. In nail psoriasis, we see nail pitting, discoloration of nails. Sometimes the nail get destroyed also. Next is inverse psoriasis. In inverse psoriasis, the lesions appear on the uh, axilla on the uh, gluteal cleft, thighs below the breast. Next is psoriatic arthritis. In psoriatic arthritis, this psoriatic arthritis can also occur along with psoriasis or it can occur as a separate entity. Psoriatic arthritis, the symptoms are same as that of arthritis but by imaging techniques we can differentiate it from the other arthritis. Next is the erythrodermic arthritis, uh, psoriasis. In erythrodermic psoriasis, there is generalized erythema and we can see silvery white scales over the whole body. Coming to the risk factors of psoriasis. Psoriasis, it can occur in two age peaks. One is between 30 to 39 year old and other is 50 to 59 year old. Next is the family history. There is a strong genetic influence in psoriasis. In a parent with psoriasis, a child, there is 18 percentage of having the child with psoriasis. There is a risk factor of having 18 percent chance for the child to get psoriasis. Next is obesity, then smoking. Smoking, heavy smoking, it not only increases the risk of psoriasis, but it also increases the severity of psoriasis. Next is heavy alcohol consumption. Then coming to drugs, there are many drugs that trigger psoriasis. Most of them are lithium, beta blockers, anti-malarials and corticosteroids. Sudden cessation of uh, corticosteroids uh, can result in psoriasis. Next is stress. Stress also plays a very important trigger factor in psoriasis. Then coming to the treatment of psoriasis, very mild psoriasis, mild to moderate psoriasis, we can treat with topical emollients, ointments, etc. For severe cases, we go for phototherapy and oral drugs like retinoids, methotrexate. In severe cases, we go for biologicals. As with other chronic diseases, psoriasis affects the other parts of your life other than the physical health. It is often linked with social stigmatization, pain, discomfort, physical distress, psychological distress and lack of self-confidence. So by following a healthy lifestyle along with medication, you can control psoriasis and lead a very healthy and normal life. Thank you.